Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest reports, South Korea is ready to produce the $5 billion future-ready combat vehicles for the Indian Mechanized Forces in compliance with Make in India policy if it is awarded the contract to build more than 2,000 units. The South Korean company has already responded to the request for information, and the company is now waiting to have a second round of meeting with the Directorate General Mechanized Forces, which is expected to take place next month. The original equipment manufacturer has to offer technology transfer, and the platform should have 40% indigenous content. The vehicle is supposed to be in the medium weight category between 45 to 50 tons, which can operate in various terrains including desert and high altitude areas. The contest for the program includes a design competition, and the best design will be chosen and given to an appointed developing agency for production of the prototypes. The future ready combat vehicles will have multiple variants, including the primary variant of tracked main battle tank, tracked lightweight tank, a wheeled version, engineer reconnaissance vehicle, and a number of other variants. The Indian Navy is likely to seek requests for proposal from Western manufacturers later this year, for carrier-based fighter jets like the F-A-18 and the Rafale M, and the Navy will spend over 50,000 crore rupees to import the aircraft over the next five years. Meanwhile, the twin-seat naval variant of the Tejas aircraft is moving to a test facility for the final phase of its trials, even as uncertainty hangs on the future of the project for an indigenous carrier-based fighter jet, and the Aeronautical Development Agency is continuing with the development. The project team has said that while they have mastered the takeoff, but they are yet to perfect the landing using its arrestor hook, which explains the new round of tests in Goa, and according to reports, the technology demonstrator project can be completed by the end of 2019. Randall Shriver, the Assistant Secretary of Defense for Indo-Pacific Security Affairs held talks with Indian Defense Ministry officials, and they discussed India's priorities in the defense sector, and to take forward decisions on the joint cooperation, which were arrived at the recently held meeting of the Indo-US Defense Trade and Technology Initiative Committee. The US and India have been working together to develop a series of small drones that can be launched from the C-130J and C-17 Globemaster III, which can be used by both the US and the Indian Armed Forces. The two nations were also involved in a lightweight small arms technology project, where the mission is to decrease the weight carried by ground soldiers by about 40%. Captain James Fainel, a former chief of the U.S. Navy intelligence has said that China currently has the most advanced ballistic systems in the world and has the capacity to overwhelm the defensive systems pursued by the U.S. China has forged a monopoly in the class of conventional systems that enables it to counter U.S. aircraft carriers off its coast and at bases in Japan and Guam in the Pacific Ocean. American military planners are facing a new and daunting scenario, as some of the Chinese anti-ship systems can now outrange the fighter jets aboard the U.S. aircraft carriers, and few systems can now outperform those of the United States. According to latest reports, the former chief of the Indian Army has been appointed as India's next High Commissioner to Seychelles. India is developing the Assumption Island in Seychelles to expand its footprint in the strategically key region, where China has been trying to enhance its military presence. Seychelles president had visited India in June 2018, during which both the countries agreed to work together on the Assumption Island project.